Hi everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at chakra cards. Chakra cards for belief change the healing insight method by Nikki Grisham Record. Uh, it's an older deck. It was released in July of 2020. I'm recording this at the end of May 2023. So a little under three years, almost three years. Um, it's in a hard case, two-part box, and it is published by Finehorn Press. I believe yesterday I kept calling this Finhorn. I forgot about the D, so apologies uh, for the deck yesterday. And a big shout out to Finehorn who sent this out to me uh, to review. Let's take a look at the back. It says, for personal growth, create the reality you desire by changing your outdated beliefs. There's a few pictures of the cars here inspired by the Healing Insight Method. This deck offers 56 cards with a variety of positive chakra-oriented beliefs that will help raise your vibration and steer your mind toward healthy, affirming thoughts, feelings, and experiences. Each chakra is represented by a main chakra image along with seven chakra aspects, which affirm potent qualities that we are all able to access when balanced and in harmony within ourselves. The accompanying booklet explains the healing insight method and provides for each card an interpretation and suggestion action to work with. All right, used for inspiration, and I, I'm not going to read the rest and a little bit about the author. So let's open it up. No thumb hole cut out, but um, I was gonna say it's not that hard to open. I had opened it before. Okay, yeah, and pretty, pretty purple inside for you purple lovers. Here is the guidebook, and we'll take a look more at the guidebook after we look at the cards. The cards are underneath. Here is pretty purple lining on both the bottom and the top of the box. Pretty sturdy, hard case. And the cards are buying with this paper, paper wrap. Okay, there are 55 cards from what we just read. The sides are not gilded. You can see here all the colors of the chakras. And there are eight cards, as we just read. The first card represents the chakras and then seven cards uh, under each chakras. All right, and it is papery on the thinner side. There is a core, it is flexible and, and bendable, as you can see, it is on the thinner side. So no uh, backing, the back are affirmations. All right, and comparing it to a uh, plaid back tarot card to give you an idea of the size of the card. It is taller and wider by a bit. And comparing it to a Hay House Art Angel card, it's also taller. So it's a pretty large size card. It covers my whole hand. But it's thin and pliable and bendable and flexible, so you shouldn't have any problems as far as shuffling. All right, so let's zoom in and take a look at these cards. So we have starting out with the root chakra, Malahadra. I believe these are the Sanskrit name or Indian name, Hindu names. I'm not sure, but um, they're the same. So the root chakra is Malahadra. And that looks like it's a uh, Krishna, oh, right? I don't know, all of a sudden I forgot my uh, Hindu god and goddesses. You are of the earth as you are of heaven. Allow the greatest mother of all to support and nourish you. You are provided for all for in all ways. You are safe. So for those who know about chakras, the root chakra has to do with healing, grounding. Well, not healing, but grounding. Uh, dealing with um, survival mode, you know, money, food, shelter. All right, so that's why it says you're safe and, and ground, grounding. 
and it's at the base of the spine, your root chakra. So here we have it, grounding, earth element, om. Grounding, I am anchor into my physical existence and resonate in perfect harmony with the physical world. I am of the earth as I am of heaven, a root down and yield to the world around me. I connect with the life-giving energies of the earth and lovingly release lower vibration to Gaia to be transformed. I am earth. And then the second one is natural world. I am one with nature and nature is one with me. I honor the rhythm rhythms of nature and flow with the seasons. I walk upon this earth gently but firmly as my ancestors have done before me. I know when to move forward and when to retreat, when to cultivate and when to grow, when to yield and when to harvest. I belong. All right, so that gives you examples of the affirmation in the back. I'm not going to read all of them. Uh, the third one is capability. Here's the affirmation. If you want to read it, just pause the video and read it. It's here for you. And the affirmation is, I am strong. Next, under the root chakra is stability. Oh, this is Ganesh. I don't know why I said Krishna. My bad. Ganesh. It's morning, you guys. I'm not a morning person. <laughs> I haven't finished all my coffee yet. So it just came to me. The elephant deity is Ganesh, all right? All right, so stability. I allow myself to give and receive support. I am supported. Earth element, Om. So I guess all of them have this abundance that has to do with finances, also part of the crown, um, the, the root chakra. I gather easily and effortlessly all that I need to support, nourish, and comfort me. I like that. I focus my attention upon all that I am grateful for. There is an abundance of nourishment, support, and love for me. I have. I wanted to read that because uh, this has to do with abundance, and I thought most people would uh, benefit from that. <clears throat> Root chakra, physical body. I exist. Safety. I am safe. Next chakra is the uh, sacral chakra. I don't know if I should attempt to pronounce this. Uh, this ha hana. Sorry, I totally butchered that. I should know how to pronounce this. I took uh, yoga, and in yoga, you know, we learn these names of the, the, the chakras in this language, but um, I don't remember, so apologies. It's the sacral chakra, and here's the word for it in uh, Sanskrit or Hindu. I don't even know what language. All right, so be still and connect with all your senses. Tap into the deep ocean and res, res, and tap into the deep ocean of resource within you and play with your sensuality. Explore and indulge in life's pleasures. Go ahead, follow your creative impulses. You are a magnificent creator. So the sac sacred chakra has to do with sexuality and creativity. And that's why we have this mermaid here. Well, I'm assuming she's a mermaid that is totally nude. And it talks about uh, explore and indulge in life's pleasures, right? Letting go. So the sacred chakra is wa water element. I release. So a lot of... Uh, People need to release. Yeah, I release, repress, or trap emotions and their associated beliefs with ease and grace. So a lot of people, from my Reiki healing work, a lot of people do have repressed energy and repressed stuff in their sacral chakra. All right. 
emotions I feel it is safe for me to feel emotions as I experience relationship with myself others and the yeah so that's part of the repressed emotions especially if there's been trauma or abuse or sexual abuse or molestation or any kind of sexual abuse the uh, sacral chakras get repressed because you know people have been traumatized so people check out tune out they repress those feelings potential all is possible self-worth I nurture creativity I flow instinct I sense sensuality I experience pleasure all right on to the next chakra is the solar plexus this is where your stomach area is Manipura I know how to pronounce that one you are free to be yourself your power is yours to keep no excuses no apology banish fear and shine your light you always have been you always will be you are you belong so this has to do with will and confidence all right authentic power I co-create my reality courage I am possible individual individuation individuation I follow my own path greatness I am wonderful boundaries I stand my ground free will I always have a choice autonomy I am a limitless being next is the heart chakra Anahatha self-love is the greatest gift of all you are a unique expression of the divine know that you are connected to all that is let love and let love peace and tranquility penetrate through your being into the world and watch as it is reflected back at you you are love loving relationships I choose love openness I give forgiveness I forgive gratitude I am grateful harmony I am balanced ease and grace I flow gently and easily compassion I am compassionate next chakra is the throat chakra fish fish huda or fish huda I think it's fish huda I don't know all right we are all children of conditioning let go of the thoughts shoulds oh let go of the oughts like I oughta 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 do this oughta do that should have shoulds the oughts shoulds and judgment that inhibit you speak wisely speak gently speak consciously but find your truth and express yourself what you have to say is important you are an expression of the divine and by the way oh I was gonna say the throat chakra is the throat but it's it's kind of clear where your throat are or where your throat is
throat chakra, self-expression. So it's all about speaking, speaking your truth, speaking up, speaking out, communication. I speak up. I said that before I saw this. <laughs> All right, communication. I collaborate and cooperate. I communicate with others in healthy and meaningful ways. My communications are constructive, honest, and purposeful. I communicate with respect, positive regard, and an intention of growth for all. Freedom. I heal. Oh, this is interesting. I release all tears, sadness, and the attachment to closing up and playing small in order to allow my throat to open fully. I open my throat and allow myself to breathe, sing, laugh, and cry. My voice is an instrument through which I heal myself and others. Very interesting. I did a healing once <clears throat> on a client, and when I was at her throat chakra, she asked if it was okay to hum, and I said yes, and she felt like she she had, she wanted to sing, but uh, she got a sense that she was uh, strangled in a past life, so her throat chakra was closed, so that was very, very interesting. So an example of uh, throat chakra uh, closed, that, that is closed. Transmutation, I transform. Clarity, I have clarity. Truth, I express my truth. Space, I have space. Okay, now we're at the third eye, which is right at the center of your forehead, Ajna. Soar like an eagle to find clarity. Things are not always as they seem. See the beauty and gift in everything. Pay attention to the messages that are gifted to you in life and through your imagination. Dare to dream and create a vision for your life. You are the creator of your own reality. Protection. All is perfect just as it is. Purity. My intention is pure. This is a good one. I release the need to control myself and my life and others around me. I allow for and embrace purity of mind and vision. I am honest, clear, and pure in my intentions to serve myself and others to bring about peace in the world. Intuition. I am guided. I have intuition and know how to use it. I, tr I trust my intuition. Nice. Uh, this is good. I release the need to know and allow my intuition to develop as a pace that's right for me. Healing. I am harmonious. Peace of mind. I am peaceful. Psychic awareness. I am psychic. Unity. I unite. Next is the crown chakra. Sahasrara. Allow the light of the universe to shine through you. Trust in your inner knowingness and guidance. Spirit always loves and supports you. Open yourself to the intelligence, purity, and grace of consciousness and resonate in all of its possibility. We are. So the crown chakra is at the top of your head. Possibility. All is possible. I just noticed this. Does each picture show where the chakra is? No, not necessarily. 
it just happened that her headdress here is sort of like at the crown. All right, connection. I am always connected. Divine will. I allow the unfolding. Integrity. I have integrity. Knowing. I am wise. Consciousness. I am conscious. We. Look at the two swans. How beautiful is that? And the unk. We are one. Since it's the last one, I'll read it. I am blessed to be a part of the one. I honor and cherish my brothers and sisters, past, present, and future, who journey with me. Difference and polarity are not a threat, but an alternative view and experience. I embrace the shared experience of myself and others as eternal beings. Amen to that. All right, so those are all the chakras. Let's take a look at the guidebook. Contents. So it goes through all of the cards we just looked at. Introduction. Working with the chakra cards for belief change. Muscle testing belief programs. That's nice. It should teach you how to muscle test. You can use a pendulum. You can use your body. You know, like if you're at the store and you're trying to buy a vitamin or a food item, you're not sure if it's good for you, you hold it, you put it against your heart, and you allow your body to lean forward or back. If you lean forward, it's yes. If you lean back, it's no. So you can use your body as well as a pendulum, you know, letting the pendulum swing. All right, so it looks like she explains this. There's different ways, I guess. The infinity. Oh, I don't know this one. That's interesting. So it looks like the book is very informative. She goes through different uh, muscle testing exercise, grounding and planting. All right. So she's teaching you how to ground. That's very good. Send the belief to the earth to plant it. Ah, very nice. Steps five. Confirm the presence of your desire belief. The belief change cards, and then she goes into the cards, the main cards. And there is a black and white picture of the cards. So there's an explanation and then an action, an action section for each card. All right, so she goes through all of the cards, and they all have an action section. Healing Insight Resources. She gives you resources. Here's the author, a little picture of her, and a write-up after afterward. All right, so that gives you an idea of the guidebook. So this would be great if you're a healer, Reiki, or any kind of healing work that... Um, you know, you are doing, or if you're trying to heal yourself. Let me zoom out a little bit more. And uh, as usual, I will put the link in the description underneath the uh, video. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I know it's probably not for everyone because it's not like a quote unquote tarot or divination, but um you know, I do have a Reiki background, so this is interesting. And for those that are, you know, as I mentioned, are healers and or or not necessarily, but if you're looking to learn more about the chakras and into healing and um, healing modalities, working with the chakra energy work affirmation, um, this could be a good deck for you to start with. So I hope you enjoy that. As usual, I will put the links 
in the description underneath the video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you again on the next video. Bye!